In this video, we're going to be talking about the emotion we all love to hate, disgust. Hi, I'm Ron with LeadSkill. We develop tools and resources to help you improve your leadership and manage yourself and others with more emotional intelligence. So disgust. Why would we want to spend any time really talking about disgust? Well, if you're familiar with the model that we use based on Plutchik's um, emotions wheel, you know that there's eight basic or core emotions that are involved um, in understanding the full range of emotions. And one of those happens to be disgust. Now, we face a problem here because disgust is one of those emotions that is considered negative or it's pretty unpleasant. And we really don't want to look at it or spend much time uh, delving into disgust. But I think by the end of this video, you're going to see that disgust is actually a pretty useful emotion for us to spend time understanding better and also managing on a deeper level. Just the other day, I was going into the kitchen and it was lunchtime. I was ready to get something to eat. And I was just kind of going through in my mind some of the choices that, um, that we had. And I remembered that a few days ago we had had a really good roast that my wife had fixed and um, I hadn't hadn't eaten the leftovers right away and so I decided hey I think I'll have that today that was what I was anticipating so that was the emotion of anticipation looking forward to enjoying some food that was really good the first time and I was looking forward to having leftovers and so I go to the refrigerator I open up uh, the refrigerator bring it out and open up the roast well fact is that it had been more days than I'd realized. When I opened it up, I, I just immediately had this foul smell and I realized that it had gone off, that something had happened. It had been too many days. And so my anticipation immediately turned to disgust. Ooh, what is this? That smell, it's giving off. And I was so looking forward to enjoying some food. And now I was going to have to change my plans because that just wasn't going to work. I think a lot of people can relate to that kind of feeling of disgust that you would have when you're going into a situation expecting things to turn out one particular way and it's almost the opposite and it's something that kind of you know repels you and, and throws you back. So on the emotions wheel we have disgust is here in purple and some of the expanded uh, terms or vocabulary for understanding disgust would include things like disapproval, contempt, or repelled. And so you might describe uh, any particular feeling as, I feel repelled by that, you know, or I'm feeling repelled right now. I feel, uh, dis I feel disapproval. I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. I feel disagreement within me. I feel something in me that just doesn't line up with that. I feel contempt. Now, that's a pretty strong emotion if you feel contempt for a person or for a situation, but that would be a very strong degree of disgust. And let's understand a little bit more about what we're talking about in terms of disgust. If we remember that each one of the eight core emotions operates really as a pair and there's opposites within the wheel, Let's remember that on the other side of the wheel from disgust is actually trust, which is up here. And if you think about it, Plutchik and his research actually uh, came up with the physiology of each one of the emotions. And if you think about trust is like an embrace that when you trust somebody or you trust a situation, you're actually embracing it and you're, in, you're moving toward it. Well, disgust operates in the opposite way. With disgust, you're actually rejecting or pushing away someone or something. Even if you're not physically doing it, mentally or emotionally inside, you are withdrawing. You're pulling back away in disgust. So let's remember that rejection is at the core of the feeling of disgust. And we're not really trying to find fault or judge any one of the emotions. If you're feeling disgust, you're feeling disgust. And 
there's not necessarily anything wrong with that. In fact, it may be the entirely appropriate feeling or emotion for you to be experiencing in that moment. All right. Those are a couple of thoughts. I hope some tips also that are helpful for recognizing and managing the emotion of disgust. We've got more videos in this series of working with emotions. You can see them up here. I'd also ask you if you have found this useful, share it with someone else and make sure if you haven't already subscribed to our channel so that you can get more of the goodness that we are releasing all the time. So thanks for joining me today and we'll see you in the next video.